a lot of work even more like think lo a lot more about the base it's not yeah. you can just go in with your legend army that you're comfortable with you have to yeah. find the weakness of the base it takes a lot yeah. more of analysis um yeah and yeah. and a lot more thinking about your attack so let's see as the first attack comes in how much buras has thought about this attack as he's coming in with the super wizard blimp carbon fin yes taking out that town hall here and he's securing some tassels that popped up as well he wants to potentially now start his heroes. Usually what I like to do is somewhere near where that blimp is. So we do have the king and Electro Titan Queen coming off to the right. And then we have the Royal Champion over to help clear the far right side, which is where the edge of that blimp. So now he's moving in to help take out that enemy queen scatter and then also deal with the rest of the clan castle exactly and there we see the rest of the clan castle actually coming out as the royal champion took a lot of damage from the first shot Ooh. of that uh, monolith still able to take uh, get out the ability but this monolith for now is going to keep standing and the queen and the king are awfully close to it yeah with them continue their way through that poison spell and defense is slowing his heroes down but the mile he really wants to try to secure as the king comes back alive with that phoenix and there is uh, the earthquakes oh and the single not able to really do much there as the lalo is now coming over to move straight into the seagull artillery yes and i think he would have loved to take out this monolith with the so, with the um, king that was uh, reinstated there from yeah. the phoenix but unfortunately wasn't able to break the wall oh. but you said it now it's all about the lalo pretty early war and ability but it is good because the hound is protected and now the protected hound can fly all over the base to um get some of the maybe uh, red air mines out of the way even hasting it up with these balloons and uh, yeah just the back end is looking a little sketchy with this single inferno and monolith and now we have the poison spell but the warden is tanking it perfectly so all the balloons are not in the poison spell he even decides to freeze the single inferno to keep the warden alive because we know that the warden yep. gives the balloons extra hp but unfortunately once again the warden flies directly into the range of the single target inferno i'm not sure carbon he's got a lot of balloons ah, and oh the single he does was one shot now yeah it was low and the archer oh that mile is doing so much damage and these balloons oh, are getting no. picked off oh, one oh. by one but I think he had that Earthquake thinking maybe that the Royal Champion's ability could skip through and then the Earthquake could be paired up and taking it down. We haven't seen that being used all that much, but it is going to fall short here for Braz. And boom, the Captain of Strat is going to come in with that first defense. What a great effort here, but unfortunately falling just a little bit short, but his great percentage up in the 90s, high 90s, 97%. Yeah, as you said, that's good percent and we saw the match before where tonight where 97 percent would a uh, two star would actually have been the, the fifth best attack we just saw so yeah. better than 50 percent of the attacks um so yeah. it's actually still a solid attack to start it off a town hall 14 yeah. would have been a different story at town hall 40 yeah. we would have been oh now we've got our backs against the wall already just after one attack but now town hall 15 is on guys so it's different it's a good attack yeah it's looking good nothing happened yet but strut has to answer here either with a three star um or with probably also another high percent two star true yeah it's gonna be we're gonna have to see what strut can answer with can they keep up with the pressure right can they put a three star on the board and a lot of times, what do we see? Do we see the ring bases? Do we see those double poison towers? And we are seeing an ant tied to with that town hall straight in the middle. And those walls all leading up to the town hall, which is really interesting, Maxi. What's the purpose of having all the walls open up to the town hall? Why isn't the town hall compartment closed? That's a very good question. Um, I'm actually not sure um, about it. Maybe um, so all so the troops split into several directions when you have uh, like uh, super bowlers, for example, or another type of smash like this one with the electro titans that you you cannot uh, get a lot of value from your spells. Like um, a freeze spell on one of the compartments would not have any value for the troops that go into another compartment. Same with the heal spell. Same with an invisibility spell. 
So maybe that is the reason the reason for it. But interestingly, um, Philip has still brought a jump spell. So he definitely wants to um, not not doesn't want to rely on the openings in the wall. He wants to help his troops with this jump spell. Um, and I think that he might maybe yeah. is going to use it over the, the queen platform so they can access both of the compartments. So while he's dealing with these ice combs, I'll I'll say a shout out our dear friend Itsu. And this is where he's taught me this is the reason why he has these the walls next to the town hall open is so that when, if anything is smashing your way into the town hall, it funnels all the troops straight into that town hall poison. So it's to basically push all your troops, Super Bowls, whatever smash style, into the town hall, and that's where they have to go, and then that town hall poison will absolutely destroy them and take them down. Talking about yeah. poisons, we've got the double yeah, poison tower Ooh. throwing its spell onto this Electro Titan. Uh -oh. And she will definitely not take out the town hall, but no. um, hmm, Philip is running out of troops that could actually do the death yeah. job for him. Uh, because the queen is, is his best hope now, but she might be pulled towards the outside here because the king uh, and royal champion, ah, I think they're not funneling quickly oh, enough. Oh, back. finally, queen goes there. Here we in. go. Come on, Queen should be able to potentially grab this town also as the scatter does go down. The poison spell tower is being taken out and now the Queen with her ability secures the town also to at least get the, the second star. But the Queen's gonna get taken out right there by that town hall explosion. Uh-oh. Oh, this wait a second. So Can he still do it? Oh, the monolith, no! With a diggy, wait, the diggy resets the inferno. What? Oh, wow. Oh, my. Come on, King. Oh, diggy, come on. Carbon is running low. It is. It is. That, that diggy needs to help stun this model. Come on. Come on. Philip, you're moving that king. What gets locked down to? No, the diggy. Yes. <laughs> the diggy stunned it. He's moving in. The model goes down three. Oh, come my on, God. Time. Two, one, and. No. no! No way! Oh. What? A 99%! I guess it's only fitting since I mentioned the word and the name Itsu. That 99 <laughs> had to come in. Oh no, wow. Uh, this, yeah, Philip with such a close attack. What a great effort. Wow. Yeah. I, say, I mean, I said oh, it. Man. He has to either three star or get a high percent yeah. in the high 90s. He did exactly yeah. that, but I think he would have preferred, uh, preferred this half second more on the timer to just get yeah. the sweeper out of the way and get the three star, because one star more is a whole different story yeah. than 2% more. Yeah. Unfortunately, it is. sometimes the clock just goes to zero and zero a little too early, and this time it happened to Philip. But um, we see that apparently he, um, you know, he has fit in very well at Strut, uh, be becoming yeah. a, um, an opening attacker and also doing a great job here with the time fill, which was a three-star plan, uh, plan and just fell short a little bit yeah. here on the timer. Um, but good job to him. And now it's back to the other eight. We have to see one three-star at some point. Um, yeah. yeah to to become the the leading team yeah with the start of this attack from lupo looking like he's coming in with that queen charge lalo and that queen going through a single target inferno but the problem is we have now a multiple ice golems that he's going to get slowed down by triple ice golem he's trying to react with the giant but it gets frozen as well oh as he continues his way in through these heroes, all the heroes are through here. The Raw Champion, the King, and the Queen. It's another Rage is down. Headhunter for that Defending King. Drops the Super Wall Break to break all the way into that Eagle. But the healers <laughs> are transferring off to a uh, Headhunter or something. What? <laughs> this is almost funny. Um, but it, it, it's looking good. I mean, look was actually here reacting king. perfectly on the fly, in my opinion. This poison power might slow him down in the center. Royal Champion in the single target inferno yet has to react with the invisibility spell. Not using it. Oh, it's so. a multi. It's a multi. Uh, we, uh, oh. It's a multi next on that RC as the Diggy helps stun it with that RC moving her, w her way through. And now the Lalo is starting over to the bottom side of the space with the Tesla popping up, dropping nice few balloons as the Queen has secured this town hall. 
Yes, it's looking good. You said it, it was a multi, of course, not a single, and the Royal Champion was able to take it out. Now we have to see how well this this balloon push will get into the center. We also would like to see that Town Hall Poison running out. Otherwise, these balloons, and perfect, yeah, perfect timing there. It just ran out as these balloons made their way um, into uh, or around the Town Hall Poison. Now, the scatter shot and the air defense are big, big threats, but oh. not too many loons left here, Garvin. And no, no at least time. it. Yeah, the air expo doing a lot of damage paired with that ground expo as the ground expo would lock on to the queen, taking her down. And we've got another defense here. And Lupo, great effort as he's trying to get a little bit more percentage. The healers onto the one archer as that warden can't get healed up or anything, even though he is full health since he is on air. Moving in, has a few more troops to drop with the headhunter and the minion trying to pick off every single building possible. Exactly, we know it's about percentage as well. So good job here from Lupo so far. Yeah, nice, nice uh, to use the headhunter here on the right side to take out this storage as well. Warden, yeah, now is going to be finally taken out by this air defense, but he still got the storage on the right side, 88%. Very good job here. And we know that even more than a Town Hall 14, every percent matters because uh, we saw the last one was actually a 99 and a 97. So we have a 2% differential. Yeah. You can see that every single uh, percent matters by just these yeah. two results of the attacks. Yep. So good effort here. Um, he did a great job there, even though was a little lucky in the beginning with the timing of the single target Inferno and, and, and the Clan Castle troops. But in the end, it wasn't enough and we have yet to see the first three star. Yeah, the first three star will maybe be coming at the very end of the match, like we saw in the previous match, where it's back to back to back. Three three stars close out that one with the pressure coming on and that may be the same scenario here in this. So. They're starting off with two stars, and they need to start to convert to give themselves the advantage. Absolutely, and let's see if they can do it as we dive into the very next attack. And it's going to be none other than Mask. I talked about Yo-Yo before, who has um, been number one and two in the Legend last Legend League season with the Super Bowler Smash. And Mask is also one of the players that has been first in the uh, Legend, uh, Legend League a couple seasons back. But um, it just shows that he can be uh, very consistent and very, uh, very, um, very good uh, on execution and also improvisation in his attacks. Trying to lure out the clan castle troops here and also at the same time break up the wall at the right side with the normal wall breakers because Carbon Finn is coming in with a couple super goblins to funnel and 14 rocket balloons. What I've noticed here is, look, he's got the unicorn onto his warden, and he have poisoners onto his queen. Does the map know something that we don't? Uh, maybe making that warden full health so the healers don't transfer? Yeah, that's what that I thought. Be by something? The way. That's what, oh, that's what that's I thought. A... I've never tried it, but that's what that yeah. was exactly what my first guess was. It'd be smart, but let's see here as Masters continue this charge, and he's got. 14 rocket loons to use for the rest of this attack. Yes, what? 14 rocket okay. is crazy, but it's also crazy how well he is funneling there on the right side. Perfect job there with the Yeti, and the Yeti was taking two archer towers, so he sent just one hog rider for the other archer tower, and that is something we used to see back on Town Hall 12. Like, you know, detailed planning, when you needed to, to look out for every single troop to have value and to be the most efficient um, use, um, you know, of the troop space that you actually have available. And uh, Musk did that perfectly here with the funneling. Now, unfortunately, the, um, the healers got a little bit uh, into this uh, poison spell, but the poison um, spell is now taken out by this blimp. And the blimp does a perfect job taking Whoa. out not only the town hall, but also the monolith. And wow. Garvin Finn, this base looks like there's not too much left of it. Well, I mean, he used that warden ability perfectly to protect that Yeti a little bit longer through that town hall poison as he freezes up the single to continue this queen charge. Look at this, as the royal champion makes her way around and still hasn't even used these rocket loops, finally going to use them to pick off these buildings on the outside of this bit base, freezing up the scatter shot. This is looking pretty good here, but the question is time. 
You are right. I totally forgot, and I think he forgot as well. That uh -huh. all of a sudden he's dropped. Uh, he's oh, placing all of those balloons in, and he, he needs to drop all the troops wow. here on the side as well. And oh, uh -oh. this is going to uh -oh. be awfully close, Carbon. Oh boy, here we oh, go. Look at this. I think. Wow. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh wow. What an attack! What a charge! Just not a. That's a completely not. That is not a meta attack at all with the Queen Charge Warden Walk. But what I want to know from that attack is the unicorn on the warden, right? So, or putting the warden typically with your Queen Walk can be a, sometimes a disaster if the healers transfer off to your warden. But maybe now putting a unicorn on that warden will keep that warden topped off so the healers never have a chance of transferring off to the queen and they always stay on her because sometimes it's when that warden gets a little bit of damage as the healers transfer and it can really mess up the attack so i'm gonna start to keep an eye on that if her future attacks yeah definitely uh, so am i because uh, it seems yeah. to have been working out perfectly for musk and this attack yeah. was just you know easy on the eye a beauty of an attack very yeah. well thought out very well planned by Musk. Every single troop really had their job yeah. to, to be done. And then the moment you realized he made a small mistake by not starting with the rocket balloons, uh, he made perfect use of all of the troops um, to save up as much time as possible and got the job done with four seconds on the clock. Just a, a beautiful attack um, for my uh, from my point of view. But now it's back to bad Zynga. They have not tripled so far and it's Andy, a very well-known player. Um, who has been in um, Nova Esports, I think, uh, as well yeah. at the very uh, beginning, right? I believe that's many years ago, as there's a lot of these players have been part of many different organizations and teams over the years. As we're seeing this queen charging away into the enemy RC, headhunter dies off, taking down this RC, put a little bit of this clan castle out as the king and royal champion are coming down to the right side. Yes, and the CC perfectly pulled by the Queen, that's exactly what you want to see uh, because he uh, wants to use the Poison spell there, has invested the Rage spell and he just wants the King and Royal Champion to be able um, to uh, take out this evil artillery. Uh, and the enemy King in combination with the, with the Poison spell, that is actually doing a, um, a bit of, uh, of uh, holding him back there with the Royal Champion, but now she is going to go for the Eagle Artillery. Queen still going strong, but attacked from by the Eagle. That's why he used the Rage spell just in time, and here goes the Jump Carbon to access the Town Hall. Yeah, with that skeleton, he wants to distract that monolith and in that single target inferno as the queen is taking the jump, but he needs this queen to also lock onto that single because it's doing damage and it, oh, forces the queen ability here. Oh. That is not ideal and this queen is going to be taken out in just a second. Oh, the, the, the ground target in the expo, that, but that's not what Andy was aiming for there with that jump spell, especially because he's coming in with the Dragon Riders. And um, the ground targeting Expo is not a threat to them um, to them at all. But nice job here with the Hound protected by the Warden flying all over the base. And then there's just a couple of balloons to take up this air defense. He still has a lot of... Ooh, he... and I think there still has a shot. Six balloons yeah. still left and so many spells. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, no. He, oh, he made the single invisible. Oh. Wait. Oh, wait, that's a... Yeah, because I was like, that's not an invisibility spell on defense. He meant to drop a freeze spell for that. There's the fr there's the freeze. Yeah, he's getting spun, but the warden is now getting locked on to by the single. He's going down the poison spell. To no, the poison spell Whoa. comes back. That small mistake could yes. haunt him here by accidentally dropping the wrong spell. If he dropped that freeze instead of the invisibility, this would have potentially been a three. Time could have still been an issue, but... Oh, and D, what a mistake. Yeah, very unfortunate there. Uh, yeah, I think this could have been a three, even though time would have been closed. But um, yeah. yeah, we said it before, every single percent matters. It's still another one in the high 90s. We saw a lot of... Yeah. 
lower um, attack, uh, lower percent attacks as well in the past. So still a solid attempt, mm -hmm. but not what they yep. needed. Because when we look at the scoreboard here on the right of you guys' screen at home, we can mm -hmm. see that out of three attacks so far, they haven't gotten a single three star. All along, all two yep. stars for Benzinga. Strut, on the other hand, 99% two star, a three star and another attempt at the three star in just a second so they yeah. are definitely uh, definitely have the better start in this one yeah and the defenses are strong here and that's where it really matters right nowadays at 15 we mentioned at the beginning of this match that getting the high scores is really difficult that's what the meta was at channel 14 but now ash is coming in with some super bowlers and electro titans starting off with a little bit of a warden walk to help grab this air defense and we've got the yeti to tank that multi mortar as he's gonna set up multiple different sides to this funnel so he can send his troops to smash his way all the way across to that town hall Yes, and notice that he just has brought two Super Bowlers. That is not a lot. We usually see, uh, yeah. uh, most of the time, we see a lot more than that. Oh, nice, the Lassie, and that's probably why he used it. The Lassie um, triggering some of the testers around the Eagle Artillery, and that means that the splash damage from the Flame oh. flames can actually damage them. Um, and wow. the Flame is still going strong, but I think in just a second, He's waiting for a little bit more funneling because he doesn't want these Teslas to pull out his troops to the outside. He's going to jump right into this monolith compartment there. Um, but now he's wow. coming in with a big, big push, Carbon. This match, I am learning so much from Shrut. The, he, the unicorn on the warden, the then the lassie on the warden to pull some Teslas. That is just like such smart planning, really thinking about every single detail in an attack as the smash is coming all the way into the core. Out comes an Electro Titan, Ice Golem from that CC as he needs to protect everything with this warden in his home. Yes, and we see the walls once again leading into this Town Hall Poison. As you said before, yeah. um, as Itsu told you, that this is to uh, make sure that the tree troops run into the Town Hall Poison, and this is going to be working exactly. again, it seems. Yes, that's going to funnel them straight into that Town Hall Poison as the Queen's taking so much damage. The Poison spell is getting launched. Oh, the Queen taking the jump back here to luckily dodge that, but she'll have to walk her way slowly up towards it. But it looks like it's slowly now disappearing. Oof, and so are the heroes. But the King is brought back to life by the Phoenix, which is oh. very nice. Because it was then able to take out the single target in front of Queen still going straight. Uh -oh. Champion still with the ability. He opened the Looking good. auto open, but this still has a shot. Yeah. Oh, the Yeti Mice help take down the Expo on the other side. The Diggy helps stun the multi. The Queen doesn't have her unicorn anymore, but she's still moving through. The Arch Tower goes down, and yes, indeed, this is going to be a three star for Strut. As getting it done, what a flawless attack here. Brilliant to really break this base down. And in this one, I love the use of the Lassie on the Warden so it can move up in front of that warden to pull some traps so that the Tessas won't cause a huge deal on the back side, especially for that flame flinger. So the Lassie is actually really nice there in that situation. Yeah, and it just goes to show how the addition of four new pets with the Town Hall 15 update yeah. uh, gave us a lot more variety where you can have single use cases for a certain pet and uh, how players can can you can use that and do that and that was uh, that was a great showing of that and uh, going to be yeah. interesting if we see some more of those and the special abilities of the pets just add so much more flavor to the game as it is right now but yeah. uh carbon strut so convincing three attacks two two stars the uh, two three stars and one that was like half a second away from a three star uh, while all the other teams seem to struggle we see low percent attacks uh, uh, sorry yeah uh, a low score wars uh, left and right yeah. just 12 stars all across the board yeah but strut somehow yeah. it seems like they're still on town of 14. <laughs> yeah strut is just looking like they're old the previous self how they've been on such an amazing streak and i think it's has to do with the snapdragon pro series just whenever they play in this they just step up and just are on another level because you know They've won every single one for the EU and MENA so far, and they don't want to stop that streak at all. <laughs> no, they don't. But BN wants, uh, wants to uh, stop that streak for sure. For his team, Badzinga, 
and uh, he's coming in with the Yeti Blimp here. I think it's the Yeti Blimp, yes. Uh, to take out the Eagle, actually great value there from the Yeti Blimp. Not only the Eagle, but also the ground targeting expo. Now the, the Wizard Tower is next on the menu, and the Builder Hut, and the Tesla. Like, basically, I could be talking about buildings this Yeti Blimp took yeah. all the attack. Long carbon, but let's rather talk about what is going to come afterwards. Yeah, with this uh, setup, he can move his way left. But notice on this one, the Unicorn is still on the Queen. So we have to see if the healers do end up transferring at any point to this Warden, which could cause a problem. Because in the other strut, we saw the Unicorn on the Warden or a Warden-type walk with your Queen. As he's moving in with the Electro Titans, coming in with that King to help try to set that funnel as he wants to path his way into the Archer Tower and then over towards that Town Hall. Get ready for the double Poison Towers in that core with multi-target photos and a single target Inferno to the top side as he's going to have to find a way to try to either freeze it or do something so the King doesn't get taken out so quickly. Yes, and, but so far it's looking good. It's just these like these poison spells that the poison towers uh, throw. They just look so threatening every single time for me. But what's also looking threatening are these um, uh, uh, ice golems. <laughs> Sorry, looking for the word. <laughs> These ice golems because they're slowing down the troops, but now it's all about these couple of Electro Titans in the center of the base to take out the Town Hall, but they're slowed down by the NATO and the Poison, and their, 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 their health gets lower and lower, but the Queen comes to help, and the Town Hall finally falls, but Town Hall Poison can be yeah. devastating here, Herbert. He has now lost all his troops. Everything is gone in the core. Queen's ability is going to be forced to help take out the Poison Spell Tower, the Ground Expo eventually, as the Phoenix is still trying to fly around. But the Queen has gone down, as there is too much left. And this is going to be another two-star here for Bazinger. And that's going to put them to eight stars, which means that Strut has eight stars with only three attacks completed. That's going to be a huge advantage for Strut in this match. Yes, and it, it also means that Strut just need two more two-star attacks um, and will still be able to walk away with the victory because in theory, yep. Benzing can just get 11 stars in total while Strut would be at 12 with just two more two-stars. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see if maybe they change something in their plans going for a safe two-star attack. Yep. Where, for example, you send a, a Yeti blimp or like some kind of blimp with the help of the warden yep. ability into a centered town hall to make sure that yeah. you don't run the risk of a one star because we've seen that as you mentioned before in the um, yeah. in the last final of this of this open uh, of the open final number one of the snapdragon pro series yeah so a lot it, of things to keep in mind for the last couple of yeah. attacks yeah anything can happen for sure and you don't want those one stars if you're a strut because you don't want to give any opportunity to a bad singer. They are just looking to come in with two stars and close it out at this point. And I mean, Strut are one building away from being perfect so far in this match. That 99% that came in from Philip. Oh, that was so close. But here we go with the next attack from Strut. And they're bringing that Electro Titan, starting off with that Queen near this town hall area so we do have two super wall breakers and oh we got the recall spell we're not yes. deploying all the healers yeah so we'll be able to pull this queen back to send her in a different portion of the space yes finally we see the recall spell today and boom is actually one of the few players to have to have used it quite a bit in the past uh, yeah for exactly that purpose the queen charge with three healers into the town hall and then with, uh, with the investment of one Rage spell, after the Queen takes it out, he will immediately use the Recall spell on her. There it... Uh, uh. Oh! oh okay. Okay. okay, he's not doing it just yet. He wants to take out the Ground Expo, and he's going to pull this Queen. Fine, okay, he took out the Ground Expo and the Wizard Tower, but at the cost of the Queen ability here. Wow, and then he drops her, like, just a couple centimeters or a couple tiles yeah uh, further down interesting 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 to see if that is going to be worth it because big boom has big goals with this queen charge apparently 
Yeah, with the Ice Golem that's down on the cannon, the king may... Okay, no, the Ultra Titan Wizard took that out to force this king into the enemy king as the queen is going to continue her charge in towards this enemy royal champion. Yes, and I think he wanted to funnel the queen into this uh, scatter shot, but like he uses the king ability now to make sure that some of yep. the troops at least go into the core of the base because all of these Electro Titans seem to be going to the outside. One is helping the queen here, but apart from that, nothing going to the core of the base. But then again, there's not too much damage right now on the queen. Yeah, these healers are keeping this queen up, but the healers are trying to transfer off to the Electro Titan right now. Rages this queen, and the Warden ability just wore off now as oh. this queen can continue her way in as he sends the Royal Champion and the Battle Drill, which we yeah. don't see all too often, right into that multi. Yes, very cool to see. Unfortunately, Royal Champion gets uh, locked onto by this monolith right away. A very cool attack with a great, very great showing of some of the uh, new features that the Town of 15 update has brought with us. Yeah. But uh, right now, it doesn't seem like it's going to be a um, successful show. You have a rage, but only 30 seconds. As the battle drill does open up, we do have a balloon raging up these yetis that come out of it. Queen no longer has her ability as the yetis are stuck on this wall. If anything, with an ice golem, Queen's gonna go down and this is going to fall short here. So this is gonna be a defense here for Bazinger, but Strut only needs to get the two stars on both their final two attacks and they'll be safe. Exactly, and even um, a very solid percentage here from Boom87. Yeah. One of the uh, scores that we've seen a lot of times in the other war. Um, and uh, yeah, definitely just what they... It wouldn't yep. have been nice to go for something else um, than a two-star here at this point. And he was yep. very safe there with the Queen. I wonder what his, what his uh, plan was there with the Queen. Probably to just take out this single, get a little more value before, before he recalls her. But he definitely mm -hmm. didn't want to use the Queen ability at this point, I think. Um, yep. But still, I mean, he did everything right for his team. Yep. Strut uh, are, are, have, not, uh, have not done any, any major mistakes so far. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Betzinger have not tripled so far. So if they want to pit, put the least bit of pressure on the strut, they have to get a triple yep. in, in the very last attack. Otherwise, yeah, strut has basically won unless a disconnect or something happens. Yeah, and the Zinger need to at least put a triple for their own. You know, you at least want to close out yourself with a three star. It's definitely nice to be able to do that for kind of the mental game as it's kind of a motivational for future tournaments. Who knows? You know, you want to at least put up the triple. You don't want to get shut out to all two stars. So it's now Dima's turn to come in with that queen charge Lalo. We're starting off with that queen and the flame flinger is going to be down here to help clear this area, which can go for that scatter shot after this mortar goes down. As it looks like he wants to charge his queen up uh, to the left near the seagull artillery. Yes, that's exactly what he seems to be doing. Now the queen has a lot of damage on her. Oh. Maybe needs to play oh, late. Oh no! That was clear, unfortunately, because she was still in the range of the scatter shot. Yeah. Let's see where she will go. Okay, she stays on the outside, pulls out the CC, but um, the scatter shot is not on the queen anymore. So the queen uh, has time and not too much damage on her deck of the CC. While well, the king is running to Tesla farm, and it seems like he's not getting too much value. Yeah, with this King ability going off, finding a giant bomb, losing these Barbarians slowly as this Queen is going to continue to try to charge her way in. Finally taking care of the CC as the Ice Golem slowly throws her there. She's taking out this Ground Expo as she may walk around the wall. Yeah, she comes back around to go for that Builder Hut as the Multi and Expo and the enemy Queen is onto this Queen, but he has to make her invisible as the Eagle locks onto these healers now. Oh, but... They were invisible for a bit. And he has to rage up again. And he needs to get his town hall, but with no queen ability. That's going to be tough. Yeah, and he doesn't have a rage spell anymore no. either. He's got a freeze. I don't know if he decides to freeze. He doesn't need to, in my opinion. Um, but if he shoots one more time at the queen, she would be done for. But nice freeze there on the monolith because he was expecting the queen to get in range. Now the monolith is on some loons. The queen, oh, uh, he should she's gone. Yeah. She's yeah. dead. But oh, now, oh, red fire oh. and he reacts with the Also protecting oh. this royal champion, but there's a, still yeah. a lot of things left, Carvin. 
Yeah, plenty of base still to try to get through with that scattershot freezing it up and the multi together, which is a nice freeze. But that Eagle Artillery, look at the Flame Flicker, it's still up. Finally now just opens up as a Dragon Rider Rocket Loom comes out. They can make their way to the Eagle Artillery. We do have a handful of balloons trying to fly around, but just under 45 seconds now. Yes, Royal Champion ability is still active as well, but then this air defense there uh, is going to take care of a lot of those cleanup troops coming from the yeah. top side. Royal Champion ability still not used. Dragon Rider with the Warden going strong. Can the minions take out this? Ooh, the yeah, air defense see. Royal Champion takes it out, and this oh, could be man. the three star. It's going to be coming down to time. It's close, Carl. Yes. 20 seconds. The RSC. What a clutch diggy. That diggy stunning those defenses was huge. But we do have that storage that's near those two. The mini and lava pump trying to help take it down with the Warden he and RSC. It. We've got a three-star from Dima, and that Queen ability being forced early, he was still able to recover and get it done. So that is a great way to close it off for Benzinger. At least they get one triple here. I mean, yeah, it puts a little bit of pressure on Disrupt, but, you know, Strut knows that all they got to get is a two-star to win, and they even have higher percentage, so technically... A one star maybe in a high percent could be enough but uh yeah they probably may I, if i was in strut's shoes right now i would completely change up my plan for a safe two if my plan already wasn't a safe two <laughs> yeah yeah definitely same i would do the, the exact same yeah. uh nice by dima can't say it uh, out loud uh, often enough um how hard it is to three star, especially when you're the last yeah. attacker. Arian did it uh, before for NS yep. Esports. Now Dima did the same thing. So great job. Let's see if Hugo can do it as well. But first of all, oh. uh, he needs to get this safe two star to make sure. Uh, oh, wow. wow. To make sure that they have three. Uh, yeah. But Hugo is going all out here. He is. He w goes with that blimp. And now he is charging this queen, and he wants these Yeti Mice to take out that single target Inferno. The builders are repairing, and... <gasps> no, 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 that single did go down! Oh, no, Hugo! But the balloons should be able to finish it off, right? Yes, yes they yes, should. Yes. Oh, the... oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. With that freeze on the queen and the multi pulls out a little bit of the CC. He does not have a jump, so he's relying on this queen to could walk her way around. But even, doesn't he need a wall break to this town hall compartment to give this queen access? Um, he has a wall break, huh? He does. And I'm going to use it in a second. There he I goes. Hope so. There it goes. Wow. Okay opens up this town hall compartment so this queen now should safely secure that town hall as he tried to funnel this king to go in towards that scatter shot as that bowler helps grab the arch tower to force his queen straight into the town hall yeah and you can tell the confidence that hugo has uh, even though he's new to the strut team he's been a um, um, pro player for a very very long time even coming in Vice World Champion in 2019 in Hamburg, Germany with MCS back then. And uh, yeah, he was never in doubt that he would be able to get the two star yeah. done here. Even though it's gotten harder, most of these pro players actually uh, are able to always pull off a, a two star with, with all the spells and stuff that they, that they usually have with them in an attack. And Hugo has done just that, so it's already clear that this is the victory for Strut Esports over Badzinger AE. But let's see if maybe Hugo can finish strong with a three star. Well, look at this with a few balloons on the back end to grab the Archer Tower. Now, Royal Champion still has her fill, and the Diggy is still up. Uh, stunning defenses, and yes, Hugo <laughs> does add the three star first strut indeed. You know, didn't want to go for the save two. They're going and grabbing the three, and the overall star count isn't going to be rolling over. It's not going to affect you in here like it would in terms of like a ladder situation. This is just the single elimination. You win and you move on, and it's a whole clean slate. So GG Strut getting it done. And they put up 13 stars. So 13 to the 11 there. Great performance from Strut. So you know, 13.